Hi guys, it's Ben here. Welcome back to a brand new series called Sevenfold. This is going to be football predictions between me, you, the audience, and some guests from YouTube. We're going to be picking seven results each week. We're going to be putting them into accumulators. I'm going to be sticking five pounds on each one. We're going to try and win loads of money. Let's have a look at the rules as to how this works. So as I said, seven games each week. Some from England, some from Europe, some from the rest of the world. I'm going to ask you guys on Twitter, so please make sure you're following me on there, what you think the result is going to be. I'm going to predict the outcomes myself and the guest will pick what he or she thinks the result will be. So we'll all have our own seven folds and I'm going to put five pounds on each one. So there's going to be some huge returns on some of these. There's going to be a league table throughout the season between me, you and the guests. Who's going to have won the most money by the end of the season? I'm determined that's going to be me. And we're going to have a leaderboard for the guests to see who knows the most on YouTube about football. Today I've got Talk Norwich City on the show, so thanks very much to Jack for coming on. His link to his channel is in the description, so make sure you go and subscribe. Some really awesome Norwich content and loads of other stuff too that I'm sure you'll enjoy very, very much. Let's take a look at the fixtures that I've asked him and you on my Twitter to predict. So I've gone for a few games from the Championship. Fulham versus Norwich, Fulham versus Hull, Bolton versus Leeds. I've gone for Dortmund versus Bayern in the German Super Cup. Arsenal versus Chelsea in the Community Shield. Obviously in those games I'm after the result after 90 minutes. Motherwell versus Rangers from the Scottish Premiership and New York City FC versus New York Red Bulls in the Derby in MLS. So without further ado, let's go straight to Jack Reeve with his predictions for these seven games. Hello Ben, first of all mate, thank you so much for having me on the channel. I've got a few fixtures to go through here and pick my winners. Now, first of all, start the football season absolutely buzzing and I'm buzzing because one of these games I'm going to be attending. Fulham versus Norwich, as you can see, I'm a Norwich City fan. And I'm going down to Craven Cottage, having not won there in my lifetime, hoping for a win. So that is what I'm going to go for under the new regime of Daniel Farker and Stuart Webber. Mix that with seven new players. I'm feeling confident. Fulham are going to be strong, but so are we. So a Norwich City win there. Another championship game is Villa versus Hull. Of course, Hull coming down from the Premier League last season. And I think they're going to struggle again this year. They've sold a few of their best players. Haven't really made any signings in particular. Villa, on the other hand, spent a lot of money once again. Yes, they've struggled a bit this season, but they've had a season in the Championship now. They've kept hold of Steve Bruce, and for that reason, I think Villa will probably do well this season and also beat Hull. Another game, Bolton versus Leeds in the Championship. Leeds were fantastic last season, but I think it may have been a bit of a one-season wonder. I hope they prove me wrong, because I would like to see Leeds in the Premier League. I think they deserve to be there. Bolton, coming up, on the other hand, they're going to be... Um, you know, really up for it. They're at home. And for that reason, I'm going for a Bolton win there. Now, let's head out of the championship and let's go to America. New York City versus New York Red Bulls. My friend Chris is actually out there and he's going to be watching this game. And to be honest, I don't know much about American football. So for that reason, for that reason I'm only, I'm going to go for New York City to win that one. It's just a gut feeling. I've just got it in my gut somewhere. Nothing to do with my head telling me, just a gut feeling. Massive game, Dortmund versus Munich. I'm looking forward to watching this one. I'm going to go for a Munich win, though. I don't think Dortmund are maybe as strong as they have been in recent years. By Munich, on the other hand, they just seem to get stronger every single year. Munich to win that one. And two more games, Motherwell versus Rangers. Rangers struggled a little bit in pre-season, although they did have that fantastic win over Sheffield Wednesday. So for that reason, I'm going to go for Rangers to win that one. I think they've got a bit too much firepower for Motherwell. And finally, probably the biggest game in English football this week, although it is the Charity Shield, the Community Shield, whatever it's called nowadays. Arsenal versus Chelsea. Chelsea fantastic last season but they haven't really seemed to strengthen that much for that reason Arsenal Lacazette in the team still got Ozil still got Sanchez Arsenal to win that one Ben thank you very much and see you later thanks very much for that Jack some interesting picks in there some underdogs uh, Norwich being one of them let's get into what you predicted and what I'm going to go for this week so Fulham versus Norwich Jack's obviously gone for Norwich you guys have voted for Fulham quite unanimously I'm with you guys on this one. I think Fulham came very close to going up last season. They were pipped at the end after a really consistent season. I think this year they may well go on better. I'm backing them to win on the opening day. Sorry, Jack. Villa versus Hull. You guys have gone for Villa, and I can see why. The John Terry factor, some other good signings in there too. But Hull, they've just got relegated, and I thought they played pretty well towards the back end of last season. They've kept some of their players, lost some of the best ones, but they signed big Kevin Stewart from Liverpool who I rated a couple of years ago. I'm sure he'll do a good job in the championship. And I'm backing Hull to upset Villa on the opening day. Dortmund versus Bayern. Now, Munich were awful in the Audi Cup. Their form going into this one isn't great. 
Germany, but I think they will get their act together. They have been dominant in Germany for the past few years. Dortmund aren't the force they once were. I'm gonna back Bayern to get the win in this one just about. It's a tough one. You guys have gone for Dortmund, I can see why. But for me, it's all about Bayern Munich in this one. Motherwell versus Rangers, you guys have gone for the visitors, as has Jack. I'm gonna agree with you both. I think Rangers might get a bit closer to the top this season. Hopefully they do. We need this league to be interesting again. So yeah, they're gonna win this one. Arsenal versus Chelsea. Now, this is a really interesting one. I think Chelsea beat them 3-0 in a preseason game a few weeks ago. I think this is gonna be a very close encounter. I think the Gunners have made a great signing in Lacazette. Chelsea haven't scared me with their acquisition so far. I think Rudiger will be a shrewd one. I'm sure Bakayoko will come good as well. Maratta, I'm not sure on, but yeah, I think this will be a really tight game. Neither side want to give too much away in terms of tactics, and they, neither side want to lose on this, what everyone calls the curtain raiser. I'm going to go for a draw. I'm going to sit on the fence. Hopefully, the odds will be good on this one as well, so this could be a good decision by me, hopefully. Bolton versus Leeds is a Sunday afternoon kickoff on Sky. You guys are going for Leeds in this one. Jack's gone for Bolton. Leeds, I'm not sure about. They kind of did okay last season, but it was the end. Bolton just a bit of momentum, having just got back promoted again. I'm going to go for a home win. And finally, New York City versus New York Red Bulls. I've got very little insight into Major League Soccer. I'm going to go for New York City. They are above them in the league, just about. And we know they've got some great players, David Villa and so on. Just feels a bit safer. You guys have gone for Red Bulls, and they're the underdogs in this one, so fair play to you if you get that one right. So I've put mine on here, as you can see. £2,511, 27 pence if that one comes in. For you guys, you've gone for a more safer options, obviously, the more favourites, so £2,031, 17p is the return on that one, so slightly less, but I'll take it and I'll be thanking you for a long time if that comes in. And then the return on Jax is £2,114, so can any of these come in? You need to make sure you're following me on Snapchat and Instagram because I'll be doing a lot of reactions to all this and on Twitter too. If this comes in, if any of these come in, there'll be some serious limbs. So let's have a final look at what we've all gone for. So the highest return is on my sevenfold there, £2,500. Hopefully one of these comes in, hopefully it's mine. A, the bigger money, but B, I want to win. I want to be the winner this season out of this leaderboard between me, you guys, and my guests. Let's see how Jack fares. He's the first guest on this show, the first of many. Leave a comment with which seven outcomes you would go for in these games. And if you voted on Twitter again, thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please do subscribe to my channel for much more of this stuff and subscribe to Talk Norwich City too. Follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook for reaction to all of these games. Can we start this series off with a bang, with a 2,000 pounds plus win? Please, please do. And I'll see you again next week for another edition of Sevenfold with another guest. See you next time.